starting off my trip to Greek Town with some delicious coffee here at this incredible bakery. How long have you guys been around? It's our 18th year. <gasps> 18th year? Congratulations! We the beginning of 2000. Well, our tropolis is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. So Maria, let's talk about your restaurant. Okay. Um, there's coffee, there's pastries, there's fresh baked bread, um, there's a hot bar where you can come have lunch, there's pizza. What I love about you is that you're so generous, you're very warm. The <laughs> minute you. that I walked in, all you want to do is Thank feed you. me. I love what I do and I, you know, I do the same thing home. If, if you come for dinner, uh -huh. you'll probably be three, four different things. And that's a Greek way. Luca Maris, this is like a Greek beignet. I think this whole bowl's for me, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, here we go. Oh God. This is a lemon custard. Lemon custard. This is also a very popular item here. Oh my God. This is delicious. What are the three most important things to Greek people? It's uh, family, it's food, and it's going out. There is life after work. Yes! I love I'll that. I'll drink to that. Yes. You're gonna feed me now, right? Of course, uh, you cannot go out without having meal. Well, I was already getting my coffee and lucky me, I run into my friend Irene who knows a ton about Greek town here in Chicago. Hi Irene! Gee, hello! Okay girl, fill me in on this fabulous neighborhood. Between the 1900s and 1920s, a lot of Greeks came over and um, they all settled in this area between Harrison, Halsted, and Blue Island, and it was known as the Delta. There was the construction of the Eisenhower Expressway yes. in 1951, which kind of chopped off the area, and then subsequently there was urban expansion, uh, UIC was constructed, and so that kind of cut down the area even more. So we have this sort of strip, uh, generally from Van Buren to Monroe, um, that's concentrated where the remaining Greek town businesses are today. So what's it like growing up in a Greek American family? <laughs> Is it like my big fat Greek wedding? You guys get sick of that. <laughs> sort of. I mean, a lot of this stuff was really on the nose. Um, I, you don't spray Windex on everything? Actually, I don't know where they got that from, but my family really does. They use it as like, you know, when the ants come in for, for the spring. <laughs> Uh-huh. I mean, we don't spray it on our skin, but that right. was a thing. We're really big on kind of family and providing for our family, taking care of one another. Greeks are a generous people. Yeah, um, that's one of our major values is philoxenia. It's, um, it's kind of friend to strangers, that's what it translates to. And this was even a virtue to the ancient Greeks. And it's something that uh, the Greek business owners in Greek town really uh, feel and the generosity to customers and making sure we know their names and you know uh, that they feel welcome as if this is their home. It's something special. I think it's unique when you walk into one of the businesses here you're gonna see the owner yeah. any day you know right. here operating the business. We have art installed up and down Halsted Street. These lighthouses it's part of the Chicago Art Project and what's really unique is a lot of them are from Greek artists and then also I think we had four uh, Greek schools participate. So this is a national museum? Absolutely. Largest of its kind in the world. Wow, this is yep. huge. Yeah. And how did it end up here in Chicago? Well, the Greeks in Chicago have been working over 35 years to gather some sense of preserving their history and gathering the collections. And for whatever reason, our four mothers and four fathers thought this was the spot for the national heritage to be gathered. You have a large Greek American community. One of the largest in the US is actually here in Chicago. Oh, cool. So what are people gonna see and learn when they come here? Well, the Hellenic legacy, as we think of it as Greek Americans, is thousands of years of history. Whether you are interested in philosophy or immigration to the United States for Greek Americans, you can find something old, you can find something ancient, you can find something new. So we try to vary and rotate our exhibits so there's something exciting going on every floor all the time. Right now we have an exhibit about George Kokinas. He's an abstract expressionist. We have these lovely paintings gathered across his career. Um, and that's only here for a short time, so if you're only coming once, 
Let's go to the second floor and see what we have that's new. So you're doing, you're featuring modern Greek, contemporary Greek artists. We are, but right next to it, we actually have a coins exhibit, ancient coins, Hellenistic Ooh. period. This is the core of okay. who we are. This is Greek American history, not just in Chicago or Greek mm -hmm. town, but across the entire country. Greek Americans have been forming their identities and informing their communities for well over a hundred years, and we tell that story in a lot of different parts here. To find all of these places we highlighted in today's video, head to the Chicago Sun-Times website. See you next time on The Grid.